this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the cosmic mind of manifestation. This goes beyond the law of attraction. This is about understanding the way reality works and how you can hack it in a very powerful way. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you that of understanding the cosmic mind of manifestation, understanding how reality works in a new way that maybe you haven't heard before and understanding this so that you could see how you relate to this level of understanding because this we're taking it from the microcosm, bringing it to the macrocosm and there may be certain things you're doing that are blocking your success, that are holding you back and you're not even aware of it. And today we're going to be going beyond just the ego structure and understanding the forms of how reality actually work, works. So for this process, let's look at the old school traditional way we see the law of attraction. Our thoughts create our reality. If we desire it, then we can attract it into our life, put the intention out for it start to align with the desires, put in the action or put in the, uh, the energy alignment for it, take action, create what we want. Now that's from the individual's perspective. Now there's different paradigms within that. There's paradigms of getting more into the love frequency of your heart, of dropping the intellectual ideas on how everything happens, understanding your beliefs create your reality. There's many different levels within the individual paradigm for manifestation itself. However, this is the thing. We are creating our own reality from our thoughts, our beliefs, our perceptions. That's the reflection that we're getting in our life. Now, if we look at it to a macrocosm point of view, we can see that as a society, as a collective consciousness, there are also billions of people on the planet creating their own reality. Now at the present moment, most people on the planet do not understand that they are creating their own experiences through their thoughts, emotions, beliefs, etc. Now if you're watching my video, then you're one of the people that has become aware of it and you are now in the direction of doing it more consciously, more creatively and doing it with awareness, which is very powerful because what you are aware of, you can then make little shifts and experience a massive change in your reality because as you change on the inside, your reality will begin to change. Now, when it comes to these different levels, let's see that we have the microcosm and the macrocosm. We have that of our own beliefs, desires and what we're taking action to fulfill. And then we have that as a collective society that we have agreed to be a part of because when we came and decided to come and have this life experience, one of the parts of it was that, okay, we're going to create our own reality, but collectively together, we're going to do this together as well. So when certain worldly events happen, we may say, well, that doesn't affect me. And sometimes if you're not aware of it, it won't affect you as much. However, there is still a collective consciousness and the choices that we make as a collective does affect what kind of experiences we have. So we have those two different perspectives. Now think about it like this. In the same way that we might have cells inside of our body, on one side of our body, we might have cells on a different side of our body, it's still part of the same body. In the same way, we might be different cells on Gaia on the planet and some of us might have great intentions. We might be more of the, the uh, blood cells or the uh, cells that help other people, white blood cells or whatever they call it that are fighting the cancerous blood cells. There might be some people that are cancerous cells that are parasites that are sucking energy from other people. They might all exist, but we're all having our own individual experience and we're all part of the same whole. So microcosm, macrocosm. Now, what are some signs that we live in this type of way that there is this cosmic mind where we are all connected, this collective consciousness. What are some signs of that? One of the signs is the Maharishi effect. You can have 7,000 people meditate in that of, with a certain intention of love and these 7,000 people can influence violence on the planet and decrease it by 70 to 80 percent from doing that. That is profound that that can happen. 
Because as these 7,000 people emanate that love energy, it affects the rest of the planet whether people are aware of it or not. Meaning somebody would normally go and do something very harmful, but they feel less inclined to do it because of the love frequency that is then amplified on the planet. Well, what does that show us? That shows us that even people on one side of the planet can influence people on the other side of the planet without actually physically doing anything or even talking to them. It's an energetic type thing. There's also something called the hundredth monkey effect. The hundredth monkey effect is when there are, there were originally certain type of monkeys that were eating fruit on the beach and what happened is one of the monkeys realized that hey, if you wash the fruit off in the ocean, it's more pleasurable to eat and they knew, used to not know this but on one side of the island, they figured this out. Even monkeys, same, same type of monkeys all over the world started to figure that out as well at the same time. Just like people that have inventions. The people that come out with the same exact invention idea at the same time all over the planet. Why is that? Because something was in a way grown, momentum was grown in the collective consciousness and more and more people picked up on it. The idea is that we live in this cosmic mind of energy. We live within it. And the key is understanding it because the thing is, is most people live on autopilot. You may think that most of the thoughts you're thinking are your own. Some of them may be, but many, many of them and most of the time they are not. We acquire the beliefs of our parents. We acquire the beliefs of what we watch. You may be saying something you're really passionate about, but maybe you heard someone else talk passionate about it and you attach to it. Sometimes I'll hear my sister, she does forensics debate, which is something that I did in, uh, I did in high school as well and we're talking about some stuff sometimes and I can tell that her perspectives are her, pers her perspectives of her dad and her mom's. They're kind of mixed. But she thinks they're her own. But really she's repeating, not just not aware of it, she's repeating some of the stuff that she has heard as well. And it's just natural. We've also watched, you watch the news of the media, you might have certain perspectives and it may just be the reiteration of certain thoughts over and over again. The key is about getting to the core of who we are and understanding this idea. Now understand that we have an energy field that goes around our body. This energy field will have within it our emotions, our intentions, will have a certain momentum. Now, when we go out and even just in public, wherever we are, there's a grid of energy that's invisible to our eyes, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And our thoughts are actually things. We may not visibly see every single thought that we have, but when we consistently think of something, it begins to grow the momentum within our life. In the same way, when we go out into public and you may say, you may feel emotionally charged when someone cuts you off in traffic, you may say, that person did that to me and you feel emotionally triggered because of it. You may have also been linking up and aligning with the thoughts of the thousands of other people that have been cut off on that same road. And that might be amplifying your emotion. If you were to go to a football game, a basketball game, soccer game, whatever it is, you may feel the energy there because there are and is so much attention there. That's why a lot of people like to go to games versus just watching them on TV. It's an energetic experience. Now what happens is that energetic experience is something that actually amplifies the energy of wherever that is and when many people are focused on one thing, that amplifies the energy of it, both negative and positive. So if someone does something good in the media, there's people sending them a lot of positive a lot of positive energy. Someone does something bad, exact opposite of that and that person will feel it even at subconscious levels. So knowing that, we can then ask ourselves the question, what thoughts are really my own? What thoughts are my own and what intentions and desires do I really have? Some people just want, oh they want a Lamborghini or a Ferrari just because they see all the other cool people have and they want to be cool. But why do you want to be cool? You might want to be cool because you want to feel more validated. You can get to the, the core of what you want and why you want it and see that a lot of times the thoughts we have are that of other people's thoughts. Now even if we just go beyond this whole other people's thoughts type thing, there is this understanding as well as this thought grid that I'm talking about. Whether you agree with something that happens or disagree, if you're on either side of the spectrum, you're being sucked into that energy. For example, you may like the president, you might dislike the president. Whichever side that you're on, whatever perspective you have, if you are charged one way or the other, 
That is in having a damper on your energy. That is sucking your energy. It's, it's almost like you're feeding that, penju- that thought form and that thought form is also in a way taking some of your energy. Now in general, to be successful, I have found in my own life that it requires energy. Doesn't mean it has to be extremely hard, but it requires energy of thought, energy of emotion, and that gets skewed when it is being given and drained out by watching the news or drained out from other people that are saying, you can't do what you think you can do. You can't do this or judging you for what you're doing. If you align with it and you let it happen, then it will drain your energy and you won't have that energy to then go in the direction of what you want to experience. So this is about understanding the different layers. Now let's talk about something else. When it comes to understanding manifestation as well, there are certain people that have already had a certain level of success within this cosmic mind of manifestation. Tony Robbins talks a lot about it. Model success of someone else and you can acquire the same results. Well, literally what you do when you do that is you pick up on the vibrational pattern of it. And as you pick up on the vibrational pattern of it, you start to align with it. However, there is a paradigm that goes beyond that. Now, to a certain level, yes, you can model the success of someone else. For example, you want to start your own art gallery. You don't know how to do it. There are other people that have done it before and you see the different steps that they took. They talked to this person, they got this type of lease, they did a little art show at this type of place, they did this, they talked to this type of person. So you say, okay, if I reach out to similar type of people, eventually something will come into my life. If I do a similar type of art show at a smaller level, then maybe it'll lead to something else. And you could follow the steps of that pattern and you can link into that level of success. However, there's a paradigm above that where you create your own success. Not necessarily from the ego's perspective, but you allow it to happen in a higher vibrational way. You give it up and you let yourself be authentic. You see, a lot of times we're trying to be someone that everyone else likes. So we're not really being our authentic selves. Go forth doing what you want to do, being authentic to you. Because when you do that, you create your own thought force. You create your own momentum. The more I let go of trying to be this certain type of YouTuber that gives certain type of information that's like this type of guy that has millions of of subscribers is the more I come into my own authenticness and the more I'm actually growing, the more I let go. Because I'm creating that authenticness within this grid, this structure. And when you're different, a lot of times I can help you. What makes me different is the esoteric information that I share. I share concepts that a lot of people don't talk about and in a different way than a lot of people do talk about it if they do talk about it. And that's what makes me different. I used to think it was like a negative thing. Like, no, I need to just put myself in this little box of just making law of attraction videos on YouTube. And that was keeping me in a box. But the more I stepped away from that paradigm and into the authentic authenticness of who I am is the more things begin to exponentially grow. And the same way for you, ask yourself, the thoughts you're having, are a majority of them yours or are most of them and many of them other people's thoughts, trying to live up to a different type of expectation. But you see within your own life, understand there's this energy of field around your body. This energy field has your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs, your intentions inside of it. There is also an energy field around the planet and around each individual person. So when you're talking to other people, your energy fields are literally commingled. And if you align and you resonate with what they are saying, it might be that you take on some of the vibrational resonance of it. They say you are a combination of the five people you're around the most. It's not just because you're thinking the same thoughts. You are the combination of the five people you're around the most because you also resonate with their vibration. You start to harmonize with it. So when you're aware of that, you can then become more aware of how you can let go of things that don't serve you and how you can be in the site that you prefer, the vibration you prefer. So this is about understanding the cosmic mind of manifestation. Now, right now on the planet, there is an awakening happening, an awakening of consciousness, us becoming more aware of who we are, realizing that this life experience that we have is a temporary life human experience we're having, but we're actually spiritual beings having a human experience. And one thing that happens when we come to earth is we forget who we are. There's a veil of forgetfulness. We forget who we are. So we come here and part of the purpose of life is to remember who we are. And as we remember who we are, we go through different levels of awareness. We start to feel empowered. We increase our vibration. We increase our level of consciousness. And at a certain level, what happens is we realize that everything in our life is a reflection of what we believe to be true. And what has happened right now is more and more people are becoming aware of that. So in the cosmic mind, there is more and more momentum around this level of awareness 
and around this level of awakening. And as that happens, there is a vibrational increase on the planet that is happening where things will manifest quicker than ever, where you will see things in your life change in a powerful way. There's a certain level of integrity that's necessary now. I can feel it within myself as well. Things have to be done in a certain way, in a high vibrational type mentality for them to really work. And more and more people are waking up to this and it will cause a snowball effect, an avalanche of this positive emotion. Now, of course, some of the negative will still get brought up. But be aware, is it negative and is it bad or is it just something you need to process? And the reason I share all of this right now with you is so that you understand that there is this consciousness shift happening. And if you're listening to this video right now, it may be because you are one of the people that is going to help this process because by you sharing your own information, doesn't mean you have to start a YouTube channel, but by you being the vibration you prefer to be, by you understanding how you create your own reality, when things do fall apart for other people, you can be kind of that guiding light, that lighthouse. And you may be just a little bit ahead of the curve because you even know this information, you're even watching this, you cannot perceive what you are not the vibration of. So if you're here right now, then you're already at that level. You understand that maybe at a deeper level this resonates with you that there is this upgrade, this shift in consciousness that's happening on the planet right now and that this is part of the cosmic mind manifestation upgrade. As the vibration increases, things, time will go by quicker. Things will manifest sooner. Have you noticed that time goes by so fast? Time literally, I blink and it's the next day. It is incredible how fast time is going. And it's like that for many people as well that I speak to. I was like, is this just me that having this experience? Am I, am I the only one increasing my vibration? No, everyone is. We are a part of a collective whole as well. It's not just the individual experience, it's also the collective experience as well. So if you find that there's blocks in your life, it may be because your thinking and your, your thoughts are being drained by that of the collective thought process. You're either a Republican or you're a Democrat. You're this, you're that. For this team, this against this sports team. Whatever it is, be aware of where it's draining your energy. And put your energy on the focus of what you want to experience and understand that by you creating change within yourself, you are changing the world. By you shifting your own consciousness, you are changing the world. And that one of the things that you intended to experience in this life is this waking up to more of who you are. And that if you're here right now, if you can even perceive of me saying this, then you are meant to hear it. You are meant to see it and this is something that is a part of your journey as well. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will also be doing more live Q&As on Instagram so if you want to interact with me, you can do that right here. I also post daily content twice a day there as well, videos. Uh, also hit the little notification gear to see the daily videos on YouTube. YouTube will not give you and show you my daily videos unless you push that button. That's just how it works and people are like, oh, I'm subscribed to you but I'm not seeing your daily videos. You just have to hit that button. Then I have a lot more good stuff coming, stuff that goes a lot more esoteric, a little bit more into this, uh, this, this realm. I like to have these fresh ideas so let me know what you think of them. Comment below and let me know what you think of this idea. I'd be curious to hear. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you on the next video. Peace, much love, and namaste.